All righty, guys. Good to see you, everybody, again. We have another video that's going to be going up in the morning. Um, we had a video yesterday. If you want to watch it, you can. It's kind of talking about what's going on in Manchester City right now, my thoughts on it. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. This video, for me, I, I'm not a huge fan of being a hater. Um, so I want to get that just out of the way. I, I like to be positive, you know. If I play FIFA, I'm not that positive because the game pisses me off a lot. But we're going to talk about something. I, I, I've i been holding out in this video a lot because I was hoping for a different situation. And, and I understand it's still really early. I am really disappointed with Mbappe. Like, really, really disappointed. And I'm going to explain to you guys why. Because Mbappe is one of the most exciting players I have ever watched. One of my favorite players I've ever watched. And I've loved this guy. I think he's, I think he's really lived up to the expectations in a lot of ways. And now I'm starting to really feel the other way about him. And I think this happens to a lot of superstars where the spotlight, the moment just gets insanely big. The ego gets crazy. And I'm going to break down some of my frustrations with Mbappe. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. I want to hear from you guys what you guys think about it. Um, look, this is a little reactionary because we're going to be talking a little bit about this season with Real Madrid. We're also going to be talking about problems that he has with France. Look, the fact of the matter is he's not playing good enough, okay? Because we're talking about this is the best player in the world, okay? In a lot of people's minds. Now, yes... We could talk about it being Vinny. We could talk about it being Haaland one week. I don't care. At the end of the day, most people will tell you that since Messi and Ronaldo were done being the best in the world, the next up was Mbappe. And the overall talent, you know, and, and look, that, I'm not discounting Neymar or any of that because Neymar was at his, Neymar was up there when, when those guys were up there. And that goes for other players too, you know, Iniesta, these guys. But I'm talking about when those two were done, who was next up, Right. And we really thought it was Mbappe. And that's where I'm disappointed. What this guy did in the Russia World Cup. What this guy did in Qatar, man. And, you know, in between, yes, with PSG, it never worked out. You know, it was all those what could have been if Mbappe was at a different club all those seasons. I mean, PSG got so close as well. Even last season, they almost got in the Champions League final. They hit the post six times against Dortmund. All right, and then we look at that other season. They were in the final against Bayern. They just couldn't get it done. They played so well that game. We never saw that killer instinct from Mbappe in those ma massive matches for PSG. We did see it in the national team. We saw Mbappe in a World Cup final, the biggest stage, almost beat an incredible Argentina team. I mean, that Argentina team, one of the best overall unit teams I've seen. And you're going to laugh at me because you look at all-time teams, you look at that team, the names aren't going to make you go crazy. But the way those guys played football together, oh, my God. I've been really impressed with Mbappe. And that's why I've given him that statue of, or stature of this guy is the best player in the world because I, I think he's really done it on the international stage. Something changed for me, though. This year, something changed for me last year. And what started to change was that I, I wasn't starting to appreciate what I was hearing from Mbappe. Now, the media is horrible. Ho media now is the best media you guys can get is watching YouTubers, following people, you and me. Not these people on TV that don't know what they're talking about. They have to get paid by a network. The network tells them what they want to hear, what they want to output. So the, the broadcasters, the commentators say whatever is the message that the network wants to put out. That's the reality. TV is long gone, okay? The people giving the real analysis are on the internet because we don't have to filter stuff. We could say what we want. We could call it how it is, okay? But Bottom line, I'm not giving him a, a get-out-of-jail-free card, okay? I think Mbappe last season, I, I, I really thought that he should have gone to Madrid the previous season. I And he, look, that would have been his, they won the Champions League. Now, it's funny watching Real Madrid this season. Would they have won if Mbappe was there? Would they have had the same problem earlier? I don't know. I, I feel like last season, we saw multiple times where Mbappe was kind of like holding out against the club with the owner and he wasn't showing up. We've started to see this drama thing with Mbappe where, you know, he's he's when you're the best player in the world, you're not supposed to be walking around acting like you're the best player in the world. I mean, if you're Zlatan, that's one thing. I don't I don't like what I've been seeing from him the last 2 years. You know, this guy is getting involved and in going to all these celebrity parties, traveling all around the world. That, look, I'm not one to sit here and tell Mbappe how he should live his life, 
but it's not what I want to see from the best player in the world. And look, I don't think that's helping him improve his game. Look, when you're at the best, do you know how you stay at the best player in the world? You keep grinding. You keep balling. You keep working your tail off. You don't go to all these parties in America, all these parties everywhere, acting like you're him. All right? And we're starting to see that. He Look, Mbappe, I hate to say it, I think he was better at 18 than he is now. And I think he's, what, 25 now? This is not what I was expecting. The legacy that we were putting on Mbappe, he has a World Cup at 18. He's in a final at 22. The only guy that achieved what we thought this guy could do is Pele. Pele won three World Cups, okay? Now, Mbappe's 25. The next World Cup is in 26, okay? So he'll be, what, 27 probably when that's happening? He could still do it. But he needs to pick it up because essentially he's ascended like this in his career. He kind of hit this flat, and I feel like he's dipping down a little bit right now. I'm not I'm not happy with it. And look, it's not just that he's not performing well. Again, this is going to take time at Madrid. He's playing the nine. He's not always been there. He's best on the left. Everyone will tell you that. At the beginning of his career, he was even playing on the right. He's just better on the wing. Everybody will tell you that. It's going to take time, you know, as well. Madrid, they 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 have this, like, all-star team as well. So they're still figuring it out. Vinny's kind of Vinny, – Vinny was thriving so well and Madrid were so good because Benzema was, like, the link-up unselfish player. And not to say Mbappe is selfish, but at times he definitely is. They've got, like, two 1v1 guys up top. So it's going to take a while for these guys to figure out what they're doing. We watch these Madrid games. It's confusing. Mbappe's drifting out wide with Vinny. It just looks really discombobulated. At the club level, I, I don't know what to say. You know, it wasn't the right decision overall. It's looking not great, right? It's not looking great. We're not getting the best out of Mbappe. Now, sure, is he good for a crazy goal here and then? I think he had an insane goal against, like, Celta Vigo or something. This is where I'm starting to get a little annoyed with Mbappe, okay? Because we're starting to see way more talk off the pitch than him balling on the pitch, okay? Okay. Congrats to Mbappe on being the first ever work-from-home captain of the France national team. Okay, so this guy, apparently, there's some fallout going on now with the national team, okay? He no longer wants to play in France because he's got a current situation where he's been left out of the squad. He had a fallout with Deschamps, and he's basically trying to get, I guess, the team against the manager. He wants a new manager for the national team. Look, the bottom line with this story that's coming out, and this is really why I'm making this video, okay? What we saw from Mbappe this summer was unacceptable for a player of Mbappe's level. France had a golden opportunity. A golden opportunity. Yes, Spain was the best team. I'm not disagreeing at all. I predicted them to win from the start. They won. I picked them to beat France. But I'm very disappointed even this summer at the Euro with Mbappe because Mbappe had another chance this summer. I thought Mbappe did what he could at the World Cup. I really do. I think he did what he could. I was very disappointed with Mbappe at the Euro this summer. I, I thought we got to see. I mean, obviously, France was playing like England, Turismo ball. But the level we got out of Mbappe was disappointing and disgraceful. He played so bad for what we've seen from Mbappe over the years. But he played terrible. He played terrible. I mean, what, what did he finish the tournament with? One penalty or something like that? It was so disappointing this summer. And look, it's one thing if he wants to not like a manager or whatever, but there's no way as the best player in the world, you're going to do this pouty crap, not show up to a national team camp, you know, drama off the scenes, partying all summer. We, you, Brother, you are wasting yourself, man. You, you, you have incredible talent, incredible technique, incredible everything about your game. All right, and I think he's getting caught up in the wrong stuff. I think he's not spending his time on what he should be spending it on. And he's ruining... ruining a legacy that could be a legacy that's untouched. A legacy that's up there with only one guy who really did it, which is Pele with three international World Cup trophies. I believe Mbappe. I still think he could do it, but he's got to get out of this rut, whatever this rut is. And look, if this season at Madrid doesn't go the way that he thought he expected and he realizes, hey, this whole Europe trophy, I, you know, because at the end of the day, he went to Real Madrid to win a Champions League. Anyone that disagrees with that, delusional. That's why he went to this team, okay? If he doesn't win it this season, whatever, maybe he doubles down, tries one more year. Look, he's at the point in his career, though, where footballers don't last over really 35. I mean, even as good as Ronaldo has done past that age, it, once you get to that age, we're even seeing with Messi this season, it's like you're here, boom, you're down here. You fall like crazy. So we're talking about he's 25. He's got, let's say, a decade left, all right? He's got to figure it out because he's not looking as quick. 
He's not looking as decisive. He's just not all around looking as good. And we're hearing more off the off the pitch complaining about this guy every year. Something where he's not showing up with the PSG manager. He's not showing up with the national team. He doesn't like this with the national team. Look, he knows he can't pull this crap at Madrid. The best, biggest club in the world. Ancelotti, you're not pulling this stuff with, with what they got going on there. All right? But this off the pitch crap, it's annoying me. It's annoying me of a player of his level to be pulling this. I think he's wasting his time. I think he needs to get his priorities sorted and focused because as a fan of his, he's disappointing me a lot. And I'm not even just citing his season at Madrid, which has been disappointing. I'm talking about all this stuff I'm hearing with France. I'm talking about the underwhelming performance I saw this summer. I'm talking about how his Instagram is more photos of him with celebrities than football photos. Okay? And this is not one of those just play ball arguments. I'm saying, bro, get your stuff together because... Your pulse, all that, we're seeing it. We're seeing you're living the life because you're not playing what you were and you're wasting your time. You're wasting everyone's time because you have so much potential. When we see this guy at his peak, when he's playing well, it is a joy to watch. We've gone from that insane offside goal with the step over on Courtois to I don't even know what this guy is doing. He's offside 10 times a game. His finishing looks worse than his career ever. It's disappointing, man. And we're seeing this, right? Where people are looking at Vinny Jr., who was struggling, you know, a few years ago and saying he's twice the player now. This season in La Liga, 11 matches, 6 goals, 1 assist. A couple of them, I think, were penalties. No? I don't know. Look, I feel like he's declining in his career. That's why I'm making this video. It's annoying and it's disappointing. I want him to figure this out. I, I hope he can get his priorities sorted. Look, this video isn't going to be the reason that this guy figures it out. He's not going to watch this video, okay? But what I'm trying to say is that hopefully we can see a turnaround with this guy where he figures it out. Because right now, I feel like Mbappe is declining in front of our eyes. And as a spectator, a viewer of a guy who loves this sport and loves Mbappe, I've been really unimpressed. And I know it takes time to mesh with your teammates. I know it's going to take time to find chemistry, but I am more saying this out of the drama we're hearing from the national team camp. I'm not having it, man. I think this guy is causing a lot of issues and he needs to get back and focused. What do you guys think? Am I out of line here? Am I crazy for saying all this? Or you guys kind of feel what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching another video. We're going to be uploading daily this week. I'm back from being sick and I'm feeling amazing, which means you get extra videos every day. God bless you guys, man. Peace.